going on you crazy bastards you're back here with Rob Kimball for a WWE payback predictions so we're gonna start off with a pre-show kickoff Hornswoggle versus Al Torito in a hair versus mask match I don't really care and I don't think many others do but in the end I believe El Torito will win because 3MB has never done nothing and uh, Los Matadores has a, a touch of a push so that's why and Hornswoggle just looks horrible with long hair anyway. So, goodbye to the hair, Hornswoggle. El Torito will retain and keep his tail this time. And that's that, guys. What do you guys think? Who will win this match? And does it really fucking matter? So, then we're going to have... I'm sure I'm out of order here, but... Shield versus Evolution. No holes barred elimination match. This here, I believe, the Shield will win this. The Shield will win. And hopefully it stirs up this bullshit within Evolution. Maybe some, something between Batista and Triple H or Randy Orton and Triple H. Just, just somehow to break it up and change it up and get something new moving forward and uh, we have a John Cena versus Bray Wyatt last man standing and seriously the last three months fucking Bray Wyatt <sighs> is rocking this motherfucker Bray Wyatt is doing awesome stuff great promos good in-ring work John Cena is putting them over so I have Bray Wyatt on this. John Cena will put him over. Doesn't hurt John Cena at all. Helps elevate Bray Wyatt a lot. And uh, he's doing so fucking good. So let that happen. Bray Wyatt, baby. Here we go on to Sheamus versus Cesaro for the U.S. title. And this is where Cesaro takes that belt back. He's going to take that fucker. He's going to put Sheamus in the fucking big swing. He's going to swing that red hair. going to swing and swing and swing. Takes his belt back and hopefully eventually later on we have some type of a unification with the IC and the US title. So we'll see what happens there. Speaking of the IC title... We have Bad News Barrett versus Rob Van Dam. And Bad News Barrett is going to retain his championship. RVD is looking very, very slow, sluggish, and just not up to par. I do like RVD. Not bashing him at all. But... There comes a time when things need to change in a person's career. And I think RVD needs to start to change a little. So, Bad News Barrett, fucking bare knuckle brawler. He's moving up the ranks. So, that's, that's my pick. And then uh, for the Divas Championship match, uh, we got Paige versus Alicia Fox. And with the look of things... Alicia Fox has a push. So I'm going to take Alicia Fox here to become the new Divas Champion. Although I don't want that to happen, but I believe that's what's going to happen. She's uh, slamming sodas all over her face like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Not as impactful, but although she, uh, she plays a crazy role like AJ... And uh, a little more in depth. So, Leash Fox will become your new Divas champion. I hope, I guess that's the way, she, that, that's what I see. 
So, what do you guys think? Who's going to be the new Divas Champion? But, the, the next question is, who will be the person to feud with the champion? Say, say Paige retains. Say Alicia Fox becomes champion. Who's going to be the next in line? Is Natalia finally going to get a feud to maybe become Divas Champion? Who knows? Probably not. Doubt it. <laughs> and then... Last but not least, Daniel Bryan is going to address Stephanie McMahon and tell her to shut the fuck up. He is not going to surrender his WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And then we will all find out what the repercussions are or if he retains or keeps his championship. The Yes Movement is going to stay in play. And that's all I've got to say about that because I do think that they're saying that he's got a three to four month recovery window and I believe that it'll be much sooner than that like a John Cena like they used to do with him and we will have our champion back and that's all I got to say about that because Dana Bryan will keep his belts or belt and but what, what I'm thinking is, if he does, if, if that's the scenario, who will he be in line with to start a feud? Who would be the next person to start a feud with Daniel Bryan? Uh, the, the, the windows are open, guys. The roster needs to turn it the fuck up. Who will step up to try to become that guy to be in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship picture? Comment below, let me know who you guys think, and I'll make an entire fucking video about it. I will respond to every single one of you. Leave that shit below. And follow me on Twitter at Rob Kimball Brand. Till next time, guys. Peace.